I have this thing. Oh no, it's the uh what's that move? What's that? Esquire guy the women. Yeah. So how often do you think about women, Mike? Me? Yeah. You know, once I'd say once an hour. <laughs> it's probably every minute, more like every minute. If I'm not thinking about work or money, I'm thinking about women. What about what about sex, Mike? Well, that's not this. It's one. Yeah. Yeah, Weiss, well, you want to be in it? It's a documentary about women. Oh, fuck that. What do you look for in a woman? Nice body, nice figure. All right, so wait. Uh, body or personality? Body. Personality and body. You can only have one. Body. Personality. Why? What if she's like... Would you have... What if she's like 500 pounds? Okay. Well, oh, well, that's a difference. There you go. Uh, types of women I'm attracted to. Being a man, obviously attractive ones. You know, I'm not all about that personality first crap. Yeah, that's a, that's a feminine thing. Uh, I mean, more, more, uh, I've, I've, I've met some women that are like, you know, have the personality of a fence post, and that just doesn't work. I mean, there, there has to be a little something there, but. What's, uh, what's more uh, important, personality or looks? I think it's kind of an equal. It's an equal thing? Yeah, no, equal thing. You had to pick. Mmm, looks. I would have to say personality, maybe. I really would. Because if I if I connect, you know, with a chick like that, that I mean, that's a good thing. More so, I mean, you, know, you get one that's good looking, yeah, it's good, but you know, I can't really do much. After, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously, you know, you gotta be attracted to them, but I mean, you can be attracted to a personality. I think. To fuck looks, to be with personality. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you want both. They I want both. Together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For me, it's like they have to. It's like the energy. The energy is what attracts me. You know, like the whole person is personality and look. You can't separate them. Yeah, I agree. Love is uh. I gotta think of this one. I gotta think of this one because if I say the wrong thing, I might get in trouble. That's love right there. Don't get in trouble. Say the right things, and everything's fine. Do I look fat? No. How does this dress look fine? Stuff like that. That's love. Yo, Jason, Jason how do you define love, man? I gotta sit down from this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard question. Define love. To be, like, blown away, and, like, happy, and, like, nothing else matters because that person <laughs> just gives you this high, you know what I mean? I think that's love. I think, I don't know. If you had to define love, what would it be? It would be a trusting and equal partnership where people do not have to express their feelings outmost out so openly and every time they are with each other. It's, it's, um, it's just a bond, a special bond. When a person is in a relationship and the only person that they see, like when it comes to being like seeing like well they're attractive, they're not attractive, is the person that they're with. They could be with them, you know, anytime, any place, do anything with them and um, love every minute of it. It's like it's like when you have a tomato, a good tomato, and you beat the tomato, you beat it until it's ketchup. And then you add the salt and the vinegar, bam, you got ketchup. I don't want to say that that's love, but... It's close. Because I don't like ketchup that much. <laughs> but if you grow the tomato, that's like, you that's guys, nice. you are soulmates. You're going to make this ketchup. Together. You're going to make it together, you and the tomato. If, you, if the tree's in your yard, that's your tomato. Uh, it's, it's not a tree, actually, dude. It's a... It's a a gourd? Is it a gourd? Yeah, it's a gourd. Okay. If the plant, if the plant is in your yard, that is your gourd. That is that is your tomato. So the the tomato is like a woman. You beat that tomato. You. you I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible analogy. <laughs> if you could date a celebrity, who and why? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Just supermodels, dude. Oh wow! I actually have to think about that. <laughs> Um, 
Oh. Um. Oh, if you could date a celebrity, who or why? Ben Affleck. Because he is so cute. So cute. If you could date a celebrity, who and why? Um, Brad Pitt. <laughs> I think Freddie Prince Jr. is really hot. I would want to date him. Rick? Oh, I can't think of her name. She's in a new TV show, 24. All right, well, I mean, from Super Bowls, obviously, it would be Heidi Klum. I mean, I have a whole list. Like Harrison Ford, but he's a little old for me. <laughs> I think he has back problems now. <laughs> Wait, let me think of a celebrity. Can I get back to you on that one? Penelope Cruz. Julia Roberts, I like her. I like her mouth. The girl in the New Sports Illustrated, one of Paltrow. Winona Ryder would definitely be up there. I would have said J-Lo, but when that whole Ben Affleck thing, it was really throwing me off. Date for a long relationship? Oh, Bridget Bardot, but she's probably dead, so that's not working out. A lot of the Bond girls, probably. Oh, Holly Berry, definitely. I'm always like, oh, she's out. Uh, hmm. I don't know, I saw a girl in Super Troopers last night, I think it was. I don't know, that girl there. Oh, wait, what's that? Super Troopers? What's that? a movie. Grab that carriage. The girls, they love... See, who's uh, this? Oh, Hello? I'm in, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Greg's room. See, instant personality change. Instant. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I miss you too. Uh, what's something that men do that confuse you? I don't know. That's, I don't know. They're pretty straightforward. Guys are, that's why guy friends are so much easier to have than girlfriends. Cause they're so like straightforward, it's cool. There's no drama. What's something women do that confuse you? Everything. Uh, just when they say one thing and literally it is the polar opposite of what they're gonna do. You know, they tell you what they want, which is a nice guy, or treat them right, blah blah blah, but then you look at their past history of relationships and none of them are like that. No. They never go for that guy, they go for the jerk off, you know. Alright, uh, what type of men are you attracted to? Men that dress very preppy, uh, clean cuts, they have to have a nice personality, not be concerned about themselves. Sense of humor. Personality, sense of humor, smart. I like the nice guys. Dependable, trustworthy, sweet guys, caring. Describe, Describe your uh, past boyfriends. Very, like, kind of neglectful. He didn't always realize, like, He's doing little things to hurt me, like leave me out, go out with his friends. I don't know, he just didn't know what a relationship was about. He was a jock, didn't care about anything, he didn't give two oh, shits about again. me, <laughs> blew me off constantly. I was never first choice, always second choice. Lied to me, it was a really unhealthy relationship. Cynical, later found out to be manipulative. Higher maintenance than I ever would be. Had more baggage from his past relationships than anything more baggage than I did. He was an ass for the most part and I knew this when I was going out with him. I just didn't didn't listen to myself. Bob's on the phone right now with his girlfriend. His girlfriend just called. And he oh, okay. see that? Did you just hear that? Nothing. It's like men What's they try to name? put on this tough guy front, you know, like their girlfriend's not around. Wait, look at it. And then when the girlfriend comes, bam. You, you get, oh. uh, okay. you get soft, real soft, do. like the tomato, or, I don't know, you know, you can tomato, you can use that, you can use that. Yeah. For, it's like you're on this, I don't want to say leash, because that's kind of cliche. Right. All right. You're on that leash. Um. What's the uh, biggest difference between men and women? 
biggest difference is they could, they can, I don't know, they could get whatever they want, whatever they want, basically. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a woman ever not get what she wants if she puts, if she tries. I really don't. I'm not to say a man can't, but I really think it's much easier for a woman. Here's an example. I have a friend named Lois, a very attractive girl. We go into this, uh, you know, this, this sub shop. She comes up, she just starts. I don't know what I want. What do you have? You know, what do you, what do you, what do you recommend? She got the sub for free. She got an entire bag of, of rolls for free. Candy canes, cock teasers. That's what they're called. They definitely manipulate that. There, there are a lot of women like that? Oh yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them. And a lot of guys that are manipulated by them. Are you one of those guys? Probably. Probably. Are women good at manipulating men? Yes. <laughs> it's what we were born to do. The women who know that they can get whatever they want, Best at it. Yeah, they're the best at it. And Are you two those type of women? Of course. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. The difficult part is when you enter into a like deeper relationship than the whole yeah, let's go watch a movie and then get freaky. Yeah. You you kinda can't do that without actually being friends. You, yeah. you have to be both you know intimate and well, you could best friends. Pretend pretty well. You? Well, if that's your policy, that's just kind of, that's pretty bad. What does it all boil down to with uh, men and women? Well, I guess it just all comes down to love. Yeah, maybe I'll need it. Every, every man and woman out there I should have it. I mean, in the end, that's really all, you know, the two people. No matter what, it's just, I guess, I guess just everything that we talk about relationships is just stuff to pass the time, but we're really always going to be, always going to be back with them. So it's like, no matter what. Because if else, what the fuck else would you do? <laughs> the thing between men and women, it's been going on since the beginning. It's why Shakespeare is so brilliant and why, you know, we still go to see movies that are about a girl falling in love with a guy and then a guy, you know, and then her losing him. And them getting back together it's like all the same shit like love will always be interesting because it's always new to the person like to me I'm falling in love for the first time and it's totally new to me and so to me it's really interesting and so it'll always be interesting to someone no matter what it's like it'll go on forever we're never gonna get that at all if the, like this won't still be happening <laughs> Oh yeah, when you check out a guy, what parts of his body do you check out? Body? Not face, you're talking about? Yeah, I believe girls look face over, take face over body, and guys always take body over face. Because guys can flip us over and not look at our face. There's no way, but there's no way I'm doing that to a guy. You know, like, I have, I'm like always getting face. Oh, my favorite body part? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of breasts. That's two body parts, though. Personally, I, I, I'm more... I'm more of an ass guy than I guess I am a uh, breast guy. <laughs> He's a funny guy now. He's a funny guy. You try to put on that mask. Right, you're going to bed then. You try to put on that mask. I know. I see it. You don't hate me. Do you see it? You put on that mask. I love it.